not sure it's a good thing, really. Your aversion is clear. But is it him that you hate? Or what the camp represents, my son? Rolf doesn't bring back good memories for me. But let's continue. I want to know what's going on here. Lieutenant. Captain. My friend here would like to learn more about this camp. At your orders, Captain. Sir? Can you tell us about your squadron? The recruits who come here are the best. And in my squadron, they get even better. I don't know what else to tell you. They're disciplined, rigorous, and effective. Exactly what you'd expect from the best soldiers. What kind of training takes place in your ranks? Combat in natural settings. Combat against the savages' magic. I'm very curious about how you train against the magic the natives use. Now, these are complex, secret maneuvers. I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you anymore. That's a pity. It would definitely be instructive. I heard the recruit Rainer trained here. What can you tell me about him? Oh, he was a good one. He died a little while ago. So we've heard. Your captain told us he died during a manoeuvre. Can you tell us more? The training we do outside can be dangerous. Unfortunately, Rainer fell to his death in a ravine. He fell? During a simulated ambush. I know, it's not glorious, but it happens. I'd like to get back to work now, if you'll allow it, Captain. Go on. We're gonna go talk to some of your recruits. I hope that it won't take too long. We're all very busy here. We'll be quick, Lieutenant. The story about training against magic is a lie. This lieutenant has no idea what he's talking about. So what could they be training recruits for here, then? I don't know. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Soldier! Yes, Captain. At ease. We have some questions for you. Me? At your orders, Captain. You look exhausted. Is training that rough here? Well, it's difficult at first, but you get through it. Taming fatigue. That's the key to it all. Haven't you ever wanted to stop? You've never doubted your vocation. I'm not a coward, nor a weakling. The strength of the shadow. What is that? Your motto? Our squadrons, Captain. You seem concerned about your comrades. You keep looking at them. No, no, not at all. Are you afraid of what they might think of you? Absolutely not, Captain. We are all of one mind in this squadron. We are very united. Since this is such a close-knit squadron, you must have known Rainer. Yes, of course. But he's not part of the squadron any longer. He left. Really? I don't know what you're trying to get me to say, Captain. Rainer left the squadron because he was sent on a mission. There's nothing more to say. Sorry, mate, but that's not what happened. I I don't know anything more. Thank you. That will be all. Thank you, sire. Captain? Good heavens. I feel like a bogeyman. These recruits are clearly scared to let any information slip. It's as if their life depended on it. Lieutenant! Respectfully, Captain. Here is my friend, the legate of the Merchant Congregation. He would like to ask you a few questions. At your orders. I'm listening, sires. How do the various squadrons in this camp differ from one another? The recruits I train are intended to carry out more subtle actions. Really? What kind? I teach them how to blend into the background, understand customs, observe, and know when to strike. That's strange. These skills are normally associated with assassins, rather than soldiers. These skills are always useful, regardless of the enemy or the setting. What kind of training do your men undergo? I can't go into details, but they learn discipline and to outdo themselves. You mean to blindly follow orders, even to their death? But I... No, Captain. We also teach them to analyze situations, so that they know when to act to avoid risking their lives. How did you become an instructor in this camp? 
I have led numerous squadrons before, and I've trained hundreds of recruits on the continent. I worked with Captain Rolf in the past, and when I arrived on the island, he recommended me for this position. That's very impressive. And I expect that you're familiar with the natives' environment and magic. Yes, yes, of course. Kurt, don't you think that someone this talented fits what we're looking for? You see, we need to find someone who can replace Kurt to oversee my cousin's security. I'm not an idiot, sir. An offer like that comes at a price I'm not willing to pay. In that case, we'll go have a chat with your recruits. We need to get on with the exercises, Captain. I don't recall asking your opinion, Lieutenant. Captain. Hello, soldier. Captain. We need information. Your instructor authorized us to question you. Of course, sire. I'm listening. What's it like in your squadron? Very good. The Phantom Squadron is made up only of the very best. Do you trust your comrades? We're like five fingers on one hand, sire. I would trust them with my life. You've sure got the military spirit. Yes, Captain. How would you describe your training? Do you train outside the camp much? Yes, we do. Well, not exclusively. Really? Yet we've been told that your unit specialized in actions over difficult terrain. Uh, yes, I think so. Well, yes, that's true. Problems remembering things, soldier. No, Captain. We've learned that a recruit died in an accident during a maneuver. Does this happen often? Uh, no, of course not. Only to those who aren't strong enough. That's strange. I was told that this recruit was very talented. I... I, I don't know what to tell you. It's possible. If you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my training. He seems afraid that an accident might befall him too. No, it's not that. I just don't want to fall behind schedule. Very well. Go on. Excellence. Captain. These kids are scared to death. Yes, this boy's answers about his training seem pretty dubious to me. He can't hide the lies. Soldier! Captain! At ease, soldier. We'd like to learn more about your training. I have nothing to say about it, sir. Really? Come on, it's not a difficult question. What do you do during training? Is this a test, Captain? No, it's not a test. You may speak freely. Well, training is difficult, but we can't complain, Captain. Hmm. That's an interesting way to phrase it. You're very united in this squadron. At least, that's what I've been told. United? You could say that, yes. Until death. That's rather sinister. Does the name Rainer sound familiar to you? Yeah. Uh, well, no, not really. You seem rather hesitant. Afraid of being reprimanded by your lieutenant? No. Well, not at all. It's just that I can't tell you anything about recruit Rainer. And we're lucky to have the lieutenant as our instructor, Captain. We should leave this soldier to his work. Your name, soldier? Wilhelm. Uh, first class recruit Wilhelm, Spectre Squadron. Keep it up, Wilhelm. Lieutenants, report. Captain. Could you give us a few minutes and take us around the site? I've never been here before, and I'm curious to see what goes on. I'm not sure if we can, Captain. We are on duty, Captain. Right, Lieutenant. Let's go. I... Are you coming with us? No, thank you. I'd rather stay here. Take in some fresh air. As you like. In that case, see you later. Wilhelm, we need to talk. And don't worry, 
Yeah. Kurt will make sure your superior doesn't come this way. Why are you doing this? We didn't think you'd say anything as long as she was here. If you noticed, others will have too. They'll make me pay. Even more reason to talk. If we have proof, we can take action and close this camp. <sighs> Very well. What would you like to know? What's really going on here? We know that Reyna didn't die in an accident. This is supposed to be a training camp for the Guard's elite. Only the most talented recruits are allowed to join. This is an immense honor, an extraordinary chance. That's what we're told every day. But in reality, it's just hell. Tell me about the training you undergo here. It's more torture than anything else. We're constantly beaten and humiliated, and the slightest complaint only leads to more blows. They even push us to police one another, so we don't dare talk. Whatever the orders, we put our heads down, grit our teeth, and obey. It reminds me of the Ordo Luminis's interrogation methods. The poor buggers end up admitting to anything at all, excepting the unacceptable. I heard them tell you about the specialist training against the natives in hostile environments. But what they teach us would be more useful for assassins. As for Rainer, do you know what happened to him? Yes. One day he just couldn't stand it any longer. He disobeyed orders, he fought back, and people got hurt. That's when things blew up. They summoned him for night training. What does that entail? It doesn't have much to do with real training. They call us up for it at the last minute. The weakest serve as punching bags for the others, who are encouraged to beat them. If we refuse, we too become the targets. So we join in and strike. If you're looking to punish Rain as murderer, you can start with me. We all have his blood on our hands. Thank you for telling us all of this. You should get back to your comrades. I hope you can do something. Have this camp closed. Otherwise, I'll soon be as dead as Reyna. We understand the risk you've taken. We won't let you down. Thank you. Really. That was truly fascinating. Captain. I've seen everything I needed to see. You can leave us. Yes, Captain. Shall we go? Kurt, Willem has spoken. What did he tell you? He said the recruits go through hell. They're humiliated, spy on each other, get bullied. It's essentially torture. Reyna wouldn't stand for these methods. He rebelled and was summoned for night training. Are you sure he used that term? Yes. But he told me it's not really training. The recruits are summoned and the others beat them, sometimes to death. I know. You knew about this kind of training? Yeah. I thought it was a thing of the past. What a monster. How dare he? I'm so sorry. I'm... I'm lost for words. Tell me, did you learn anything new? I scouted out the site. There's two parts of the barracks we should look at more closely. Rolf's quarters and the basement which they refuse to open for me. These people's methods are despicable, but we can't just charge into the fray. Innocent people could get hurt. What do you want to do, my son? Let's wait for nightfall. We'll sneak into the camp unseen, search the barracks, the private quarters, and then the basement. We might also try to find out where this night training takes place. Yes. I wouldn't want other young recruits to lose their lives tonight, especially Wilhelm. Rolf's office. He surely has the key to the basement.
This letter is disturbing, Kurt. It confirms that several deaths have been disguised in order to keep this camp secret. But it says that the recruits trained here have been assigned to governors from different cities. And yet I'm sure that Constantin knows nothing about these elite units. The conclusion of the letter also confirms that the commander is pleased with what's been going on here. So Torsten knew. So it seems. Including about the deaths. He's gone too far. He dishonors us all. Sieglinder was right. in here I know this smell only too well fear blood death the Ordo Luminous would surely envy such a place if they knew it existed <laughs> This document explains a lot. They torture the soldiers to break them. Rainer shows up on this list more than once. He gave them a lot of problems. Those who resist too much are lynched during night training. Rolf, you'll pay for this. Kurt, Wilhelm's name was added to tonight's training. These monsters want to make him pay for the help he gave us. The poor child will probably not survive. We can't let them kill him. We must stop this training immediately. The risk is that Rolf will ambush us. If this boy dies because of us, I will never forgive myself. I refuse to let these recruits pay for the bastards who manipulate them. Let's avoid spilling blood in vain. These children are victims, yes. But they are armed victims. Are you sure they'll spare us in return? They're just kids. There has to be a way to reason with them. We'll do what we can, Kurt. I can't promise anything more. It's blocked. It's blocked. Despite what Wilhelm Come told on, me, I wasn't expecting dead. this. He's getting destroyed. Come They'll on, kill him. We can't let them get away with it. Let you kill this boy like you killed Rainer. Soldiers, do you realize what you're doing? Captain, what? You shouldn't be here. This time, you won't get away with it. Tarms! Do you know what happens to those who die in this regiment? Their bodies are thrown out like those of rabid animals. If you die here, You'll die without glory. No one will ever know what happened to you. I doubt that's what they promised you when you joined the Guard. No. No, of course not. A good soldier doesn't fight for glory. He fights to be the best. Really? Then the Guard really has changed. 
Did you recruits leave your families to end up lynched and thrown into a ditch? No. He, he, you're right, Captain. We never should have ended up here. Traitors. Cowards. Deserters. To my help. And death to the others. <laughs> Maybe I'd like you protect me. In <laughs> Will you be all right? I'm wounded, but I'll survive. Thanks to you. I'm eternally grateful. Come, Wilhelm. We'll help you get home. We owe you that, at least. I'm counting on you to bring him back to the camp in one piece. Yes, Captain. Well then, let's go. We can't let that vermin Rolf escape us. Let's hope that Rolf didn't hear the sounds of combat. Surprise is our best ally. You're right. Let's try to approach discreetly. It's blocked. Nobody saw us. All we have to do is ambush them in the pit. Rolf, you bastard. How could you be part of this disgrace? You know that this is how the best soldiers are made. Soldiers, grab your weapons! Death to the traitors! Stop! Soldiers, are you really going to obey these scoundrels? Do I need to remind you of the guard's motto? Where is your honor? I won't repeat myself, recruits. Execute these traitors. Soldiers, listen to your captain. You are the victims of these monsters, and we are here to save you. We're doing our best to avoid a fight, to spare your lives. Well, what do you want us to do? We have orders, and we know what will happen to us if we don't obey. Enough! To arms! Attack! All this bullying and humiliation is only intended to turn you into weapons, not soldiers. And when a weapon is no longer needed, its owner throws it away rather than risk injury. That's why Rainer was disposed of. Being a soldier doesn't mean being a puppet. Put your weapons down. They're right, mates. I don't want to end up in the harbor. What do you think, soldier? You think we can trust them? It's over, Lieutenant. 
These recruits won't do your dirty work for you anymore. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You've trained cowards. Their training wasn't finished, Captain. And the speeches were so convincing. Silence! Where is this second squadron? Should have been here a long time ago. They're not coming, Rolf. They surrendered too. It would appear that your training methods aren't very effective. Now that you no longer have lackeys to send after us, Rolf, you'll have to get your own hands dirty. I've dreamt of shutting that big mouth of yours up for so long. Maybe enlighten protect me in this battle. To my help. And death to the others. Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? I must leave you. Will you be all right, Kurt? Yes. Yes. I'll be fine. I'm just glad to know that this camp won't kill anyone else. What about you, Wilhelm? Thank you for saving my life. Without you... I hope you can forget all about this. This is not what the Guard is about. I don't know if you'll be able to forgive us, Wilhelm. I've been in your shoes on other nights. You didn't have the choice. While we wait for this camp to close for good, you'll be under Wilhelm's command. You'll soon receive your transfer orders. At your orders, Captain. Glad it's you, Wilhelm. You'll stay here for now. I'll send men I trust to come get you soon. What do you want us to do? I'll need backup if I really want to put an end to all of this. We must go see Major Sieglinder in New Serene. I need to tell her what was going on here. Are you sure she wasn't involved? Her? Never. She's old school. She already held the commander at a distance because she didn't like the direction the guard was headed. He would have sacked her, or worse, if she didn't have so much support within the guard. I should have listened to her. There's no use brooding over the past. Let's go. We'll go and see her immediately. Sieglinder, I need to talk to you. What's the matter, Kurt? We've just returned from a training camp. A secret camp where elite soldiers are trained through terror, humiliation, and torture. Don't tell me that. Yes. One of my recruits died, and he wasn't the only one. It is designed to create a regiment of assassins. I am sorry, Kurt. I knew something was wrong, but I never would have thought it'd go that far. We put an end to it all. We had to. But Torsten allowed it. Even encouraged it. I told you that the Commander's ambition would end up leading us astray from the ideals of the Guard. And that we would pay the price for it. Yes. At the time, I told you you were exaggerating. That he had his reasons. What are you gonna do? I'm going to speak out, Sieglinder. And reveal the Commander's project to the Governor of the Congregation. If I were as close to him and his family as you are, I would have done so a long time ago. I know. I feel so stupid for not having understood Torsten's scheme until now. You've always been a loyal person, Kurt. And too many loyalties are sometimes hard to reconcile. But Torsten betrayed us all. I'm counting on you to make him pay for it. Believe me, he won't get away with it. Goodbye, Sieglinder. Goodbye, Kurt. My men and I stand with you.
are, my child. I'm happy that you are here. I've had an idea that I wish to present to you. Please do. I've known the Mother Cardinal for quite some time. She is a formidable woman, gifted and diplomatically skilled. I fear that your cousin might be a little defenseless when dealing with her, and would like to give him a few weapons. What do you have in mind? Diplomacy is not only a matter of formal encounters and choreographed etiquette. If we had the means to action more personal leverage, the Mother Cardinal could not manipulate your cousin. How could we ever find anything of that sort? Everyone has nasty little secrets, my child. It's our task to discover Cornelia's. It is a very good idea. But alas, I have other problems to resolve first. I understand. Come and find me when you are ready. I'll see you later, Father. Take...
Murti Dumad. I am Ulan, chief of the village of Vignamri. You have a peculiar face, and it looks familiar. I didn't know that people from the continent could bear the mark of the Onol Manawi. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I met a member of your clan in New Serene, a merchant. Oh, so you are the strange Anal Manawi, who helped and saved our hunter. I am very grateful to you. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. I knew the Renaik say could be good. And you proved to everyone that I was right. You are someone that the kings of the Renaik say respect and listen to. As the legate of the congregation, it is true that I can talk to all the governors of this island. That is what I taught. I need your help to talk to the leader of the great city of Hikmet. About what? I want to meet him to offer a peace treaty between his clan and mine. The Sisaignemais. Many kings want to chase the Renaigse away from the island. Especially the kings of Hikmet. But I know we could learn many things from them. And we could arrange a great deal. I see. I can indeed talk to the governor about your desire to make peace. If you do talk to him, can you also tell him that one of my clansmen has come to trade with his town? I sent him some time ago. But I was told that the soldiers did not let him in. He fears for his life. Because some other clans do not look favorably on exchanges with the Renaikse. He could be attacked at any moment, alone on the road. Very well. I will make sure that he obtains permission to enter. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade, and to what do I owe this honor? I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief from the village of Vignamri. He is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, a member of Ulan's clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us and he might even prove useful. 
if the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Just keep walking, Renaixe. This does not concern you. Have mercy. They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. If I were you, I would leave at once. A squad of guards are approaching. Not Freddy. Let's leave. We are not ready for an encounter yet. But we will get you for this, merchant. Adlor Reda Odolmanawi, may the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside, and the Donaya Exdragao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the governor of Hikmet which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. Adloreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. Ulan, I see that the governor of Hikmet's emissary is already here. He is. And I am very thankful that you succeeded in organizing this meeting. I am full of hope for the future. We are very grateful as well, Your Excellency. However, if you could leave us, I am sure you can understand that the discussion we are about to have must remain confidential. Naturally. I hope that you will reach an agreement.
So, have you reached an agreement? Our discussions were very fruitful. However, we are faced with a problem. Really? Our peace treaty depends on the ability to exchange freely. And Chief Ulan has warned me that our merchants would be at risk of being attacked by the neighboring clan. Mordun, the chief of the village of Igugsob, is at the near Exregal. He is among those who think that the people of your Royland are only here to take from us. But his village would also benefit from this agreement. If you could convince him to meet us, we could reach an understanding, allowing the caravans to pass through his territory. Without this, I am afraid we would not be able to make a commitment. Peace and trade are linked. If our merchants risk their lives coming here... We am sure that you will manage to convince him that the Renaixe are not all bad. I can try, at least. At Redar, we will wait here and hope that you will manage to reason with him. The valley is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition.
Too much. What are you doing here, and I say? Your coin are not welcome in my village. Ulan, the king of Vignamri, wants to establish a trade agreement and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet. This sounds like something he would do. All he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaixei. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village, while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Donea Exregal, a proud man, not a slug. The Renaixe cannot be trusted. They are deceitful, and only seek to trap us. Siora? Mordun, you know me. I know the cost of war. My village has paid for it dearly. But do you not think that this is a time we made peace? Or at least a time we listen to what Ulan and the Emissary have to say? If your mother could see you, daughter of Bladnid, how can you defend the Rhinaixe? The Danea Exregal I have met were fearless, and yet you are running away from a mere meeting. By refusing to negotiate, you are only showing weakness, nothing else. Call 
Not Freddy. The worst part is that you are right. I cannot refuse this meeting without appearing weak. Fine. I will meet Ulan and his emissary. But I will not go to his village. Tell them to find me at Landristel. I will be there in a few hours. I will tell them right away. Thank you, Mordun. 